Hi and welcome to part two of this mini series. In part two what we're going to do is begin to build out the help buttons that I showed you how to build in part one and we're going to use the same sort of technique. I.e., We're going to use a bookmark but this time we're going to use the bookmark to provide individual help on an individual visualization. Okay let's get to it. So this is where we left the last demo at the end of part one. I have changed a couple of things actually. If I click on the format tab and then select the selection box here, you can see that I've actually grouped all of the help images together in this grouping called help buttons. And I've renamed each one as well so it's relevant to the relevant image. So what do we want to do in this demo? I want to do a couple of things. I'm going to add help onto this visualization, this sales by country uh, stats column chart. Now, when I mouse over the little help button, I want a little tool tip to appear. Then when I click on the help button, I want to show that help button is grayed out and it's in effect in its depressed mode. I also want to pop up a text box which will display the help. And then if I click on the help button again, obviously I want to get rid of that text box. We're going to do all of this just using bookmarks. So let's get started. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just collapse this, the fields here. We don't need that. Um, and I'm going to add in a new help button for the, the visuals. I'm going to display the screen, if you like, as uh, it would be when the help button is depressed. So let's just um, copy this help button. Control C and Control V. So I've got a new one of those. If we go to the general settings, I've predefined or, or worked out what the settings for this should be. So the X position is 401. The Y position needs to be 437. And this needs to be 68 and 58. That's exactly the same size as the help button. It's going to replace so that's the help button when it's pressed i'm going to rename it here so i'll just call this sales country help depressed so i know what it is okay that's the help button i'm going to move it down here i'm going to put it next to the actual um, help button just again so that they're they're in the same sort of order I'm also going to add in a, a visualization, uh, which is just going to be a text visualization. So if we click on more visuals, not more visuals, sorry. Let's expand this button here. Here's our text box. Let's add that in. And we want some text in the text box. And I'm just going to cut and paste that in. Now that's, that's been pasted in. I'm just going to highlight a few things. And I'm then going to position that on the screen. OK, so this is how I want the screen to look when I've actually pressed the button. And so I'm going to save this view again as a bookmark. So from the view tab, let's just select bookmarks. I'm just going to say add a bookmark in. We'll rename this as sales by country help selected. OK, and then I need to make sure that the other buttons that I'm using and the other visuals are also updated. So I now need to modify the other bookmarks so that when we select them, they're not displaying these visuals. So let me select this visual, which is just called text box. Again, I'm going to rename that to be help box for sales by country. I'm also just going to move that uh, into the uh, relevant grouping. So uh, the help box we can get rid of. And then this particular button here, we can also get rid of. So with those two deselected, I can right click on the ellipses here, or rather I can just click on the ellipses here called main help selected and update that. And then if I have a look at no help selected, I also want to get rid of these two visuals and then we can update that as well. 
OK, let's just go and view the bookmarks then. So with no help selected, it looks like that. With the main help selected, it looks like that. And when, then with sales by country and help selected, it looks like that. So that's all working really well. What we need to now do is wire up the buttons, of course. So let's just uh, go back to main help selected, exit from there because that gives us this visual. And if I click on that visual, then we can go in and perform the action. So from the action pane or from the format image, we'll select the action. The action when we click on this is going to be a bookmark. The bookmark that we're going to navigate to is sales by country help selected. And let's just add a tool tip in there. So the tool tip um, pops up just when we hover over that particular icon. So we'll just say uh, sales by country uh, aggregated in a GBP, Great British Pounds. That's all we need to do, that's great. Um, now let's go and again just view the bookmark. So with the main help selected, we've got that. And if we hover over that um, visual now, then we get sales by country aggregated by GBP. And if we click on it, then we go to the uh, sales by country help selected. So now we need to wire up this button. OK, so let's select sales by country help selected. Let's select that particular button. OK, and again, we will go and fix the action on that button. So uh, the bookmark for that button is not no help selected. It's for main help selected because we're just going back where we came from. We don't really need a tooltip. OK, so uh, let's just see if this particular thing works then. So I should be able to click on there and we go back to the normal help. Click on there again and we go back to that bookmark with help selected. Click again, we go back to main help selected and then click on here, of course, and we go back to no help selected. So I've tested all three bookmarks. So this is working. All we'd need to do now is publish this report and check that it works in the service. Here we are magically back in the service. If I click on the help button here, then our bookmarks are implemented and we get help on each visual. And then if we come to here and hover over this particular visual, we can see we get the tooltip which says sales by country aggregated in Great British Pounds. And if we click on there, then we get the additional visual displayed to give us information perhaps about how to use that visual. If we click once again, then, of course, we're taken back to our previous bookmark and we're able to interact with the report in the usual way. OK, so that was the end of part two. Now you know how you can use bookmarks to provide buttons on all of the visuals and then also how you can use a bookmark to provide additional help on an individual visualisation. Please do join me for part three. But in the meantime, please do subscribe using the button that's on the screen now and Go ahead and watch some of the other videos that I've got on YouTube. Okay, enjoy your Power BI journey. Thanks and bye.